Hello, Jerry Stewart. Kelly and I are uh, on the road, going down the road. But you know what? Something's on our minds and uh, we'd like to talk about it for a minute. So what do you think about this idea of our president insisting that the Supreme Court judge, the replacement for our retiring justice, Thing about this idea that he's automatically said, automatically, that the replacement judge is going to be a black woman. Okay, now the first thing that happens is if somebody says, No, I don't want that, then automatically I become a racist, which is bunk. I'm not a racist. If I say no, then somebody will say, Oh, well, you're an anti feminist. No, I'm not an anti-feminist. I'm for all people to be treated equally. So what does that mean? That means that when you have a very high position, I believe it's correct, we only have nine justices right now in the Supreme Court and they serve a lifetime, okay? That you're supposed to be picking the nine best people, best people, you're supposed to put on the blindfold like Lady Justice does and say, I'm going to pick the best. I don't care if it's black or red or yellow or white or male or female. We don't care. It's got to be the person who best understands the Constitution and who is best going to be able to follow the law as written. Okay? Now, a lot of people don't know this, or haven't thought about it. The Supreme Court justices are not supposed to have anything to do with politics. Nothing. There's not supposed to be a D or an R there. In fact, they don't say what they are, although you can tell by their voting what they are. But they've made it a political thing. They've made it a political thing. And I'm not saying that Donald Trump didn't do the same thing. What you're supposed to say is first and foremost, you've got to pick the person who is best qualified. So if there's a white man or a brown man that's out there who would be the absolute best, then to me, and watch out, here I come, for you to pick a black woman, black, that's racist. That's giving someone an advantage or disadvantage, whichever way it goes, because of their color. Now, I don't mind, it doesn't bother me a bit that there would be a black woman on the, on the Supreme Court as a justice, if she's the best for the job. So, the more and the farther we go down the road in America, the more politics is playing into everything. Everything. And that's wrong. You, know, have you ever wondered why our founding fathers did not put on any rules or term limits for any? I mean, first, they had no term limits on presidents. Did you know that? After Franklin Delano Roosevelt was president three terms, of course, he died in his third term. They changed the rules and said that you could not be a president more than two terms. You may not know that, but the point of, the, of that idea and what I'm talking about is they could not imagine that a person would want to be a professional politician. If you go back and read some of the writings of George Washington, <laughs> after George Washington was president the first term, he said, I'm out of here. I'm going home. And they said, well, hold it a second, George. We need you, man. We need you. Please stay for another term. He said, okay, only one more. I want to get back to my farm. I want to get back to my crops. I want to get back to my life back in Mount Vernon. And he refused to go any further than two terms. Now, you can't get him out of there. You can't explode him out of there. It's ridiculous. And we've got 
way too much politics in our country. What is it they say? Politicians are a lot like dirty diapers. They both, they both smell and they both have to be, should be changed often. There's a bunch of our politicians in Washington, D.C. that smell and they need to be changed. I'm Jerry Stewart. Tell me what you think. You don't have to agree with me. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. God bless you. Bye-bye.